close to 38%. And we got the one year, the one year is up 27%. So actually, GoPro seems to be an upwards trend at the moment. But every time the, mark, the market dips, that it makes uh, GoPro also fall pretty hard. So what does GoPro got going for us? So for right off the back, we could see that it's expecting the the PE ratio to be in the positive range. But as of right now, the earnings per share is in the negative and the PE ratio is also in the negative. So right now, personally, I'm not interested in this company at the moment. The Aflo is also looking kind of heavy and then we got the news we see that gopro is going with a risky business model with uh, no questions asked damage camera replacement so essentially they're going to be replacing cameras that are um that get damaged so we should see if this improves their business model if this is going to attract more people to to buy their stuff so when we look at the price, we can see the price is slightly above the average. We can see the, we're looking at the KDJ death cross and also the RSI death cross. So what that tells us is the stock actually might be heading lower from here. Now, when you look at the support and resistance analysis, we can see that this stock could go anywhere. Right now, it's, it's pretty risky. It could either fall or it could go higher. So that's what we're looking at with uh, GoPro. Now, when we look at the financial forecast, when we look at the financial forecast, we can see that the revenue is looking poor and also the, the earnings per share headed towards the positive range. So that's, that's good news. We got the uh, balance per share. It's been quite stable. The net asset value and downward trend, net debt downward trend. We got the the cash flow. The cash flow, when the CPS is also uh, toward like it's kind of in a downwards trend, but it's been picking up slowly. We got the capital exponential in a downward trend, and we have the the return on assets in a downward trend and return on equity that seems to be making a comeback. So when we look at the net income and the financial statements, we can see that GoPro is actually in the negative range, but in the quarter four of 2018, it's managed to turn a profit. Now, when you look at the balance sheet, we can see that GoPro has slightly high liabilities. We look at the Operating the operating head towards the positive range. We got the investing, investing slowly going towards the negative range, and we got the financing that's quite stable. So there you guys have it. And with GoPro, we know what GoPro has to offer. GoPro, GoPro is a technology company with their GoPro cameras that goes on your head and. A lot, um, a lot for sporty for sports so you could record it it's the company is located in san mateo california and gopro produces cameras and mountable and wearable accessories 